Y'all got any questions? Yeah, they just came up, they want to see what we're teaching. Okay, okay. What we're teaching right here is that this is not our Lord and Savior, right. all right? When we teach him that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. right. And with this, what the uh, officer was going over was homosexuality. This comes with homosexuality. Right. Matter of fact, what I got you holding? Go ahead and read that real quick, and we're going to go back to Romans chapter 1. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Yay! All Israel have transgressed thy law. Who was given the laws? Do anybody know? Who was given the laws? Moses. Moses. And who did Moses give it to? The people. Moses gave it to a people. You are the people that Moses gave the law to. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You are the children of Israel. Read it again. Yay! All Israel have transgressed thy law. But the problem is with you blacks, you all, all of us have transgressed the law. We are in the midst of, y'all smoke weed? Y'all yeah, don't do no drugs. All praise to the Most High. We are in the midst of drug selling. We are in the midst of drug use. We are in the midst of adultery. We are in the midst of killing. We are in the midst of gang banging. Bring it out! Okay? We have all transgressed God's laws. So with that came what? Read on. Even by departing that they might not obey uh -huh. thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. If you just look around in Virginia, Newport, uh, Newport News, you see that we are cursed people. We live in the worst conditions. You got the slums over there. You got the ghettos over there. Okay, our people is in the worst conditions. Why? Because we did not obey God's law. Thank you, man. You young men need to hear this. Because there's a lot of madness going on in our communities. And we need men like you to raise up and be pillars and be uh, examples in your communities. Right. Otherwise, if you continue on listening to that music about selling drugs, and murdering your own people, you're going to continue to see the conditions that our people are in. Bring it out! Are you ready for change in your communities? What about you, brother? Aren't you ready for change in your community? Absolutely. Okay, well, listen Absolutely. to the word of God. That's, a, that's what's going to change your community. We just read about the homosexuality. How do you change that? Marriage is honorable and all. Yes, and the right. bed undefiled. Right. So marriage comes a man, a husband, and a wife. And then you have kids. A man and a man cannot make kids. Right. A woman and a woman cannot make kids. Right. That's right. Okay, all the murder that's going on in our communities. Uh, you should not hate your brother and not hurt. That's another commandment that we need to stand on. Right. If we stand on that, we can eradicate what's going on in our communities right, right. now. Right. What we're talking about, brother, is change. Good. Go ahead, read that again. Wake him up! Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. So because we disobey God's laws, the curse is poured upon us. Read on. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. The oath was given to us from Abraham, Isaac, unto Jacob, unto the 12 tribes of Israel. The oath was given to us, no one else. The kingdom of heaven is for you. Rulership is for you. Godship is for you. Go ahead, read on. Because we have sinned against him. Read. And have. And he has confirmed his word. So how did he confirm his words? It says the oh, the curse is poured upon you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. But the, uh, read that part again. And he has confirmed his word. How did he confirm his words? Read on. Which he spake against us. Uh -huh. And against our judges that judged us. Uh -huh. By bringing upon us a great evil. By bringing upon, this is how he judged us. By bringing upon us a great evil. Slavery, slavery, bondage, captivity. That's the great evil that he set upon us. Okay, because we broke his laws. We, we are a cursed people because we disobeyed God's laws. Would you agree with that? But I need you to pay attention. Your, your mind is everywhere. I need you to focus with me. We grown men. You you paying attention? What's your name? Uh, Kurt. Kurt, how you doing, Kurt? I'm not showing. Sure. What's your name? Lewis. Lewis, Lewis and Kurt. I need y'all to listen up. Because would you agree that our communities are messed up? Absolutely. Absolutely. So what about you? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So are, as men, shouldn't you be looking for the solutions? Right. Yeah. Shouldn't you be looking for what change? What's going to change in our communities? Mm -hmm. Is it rap music? Yep. Is it twerking? Is it drug dealing? Is it murdering? Bring it Is out. it hating your own people in your mind? Video games. Is it playing video games? What's going to change our people? Read it again. Read the uh, verse 12 again. Verse 12. And he hath confirmed his word. The Most High God has confirmed his words. How? 
which he spake against us. Uh -huh, he spake and, it against us. Read on. And against our judges that judged us uh -huh. by bringing upon us a great evil. Slave ships is that great evil. Right. Right. Yokes of iron is that great evil. Right. Right. When you get married to your wife in slavery, you know who got to sleep with her first? Your slave master. Right. That is a great evil. Right. Go ahead. For under the whole heaven, for under the whole heaven, that means the whole earth, under the whole heaven, read on, has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. So you hear, you understand what that's saying? You said, Kurt, Kurt, you know what that's saying? That's saying it doesn't even matter if so-called white people went into slavery. Your people had the worst atrocities that ever happened to them. The hell with the Holocaust and they six million, they so-called six million that died in the Holocaust. You know how many of your people died in the transatlantic slave trade? Wake them up! From the west coast of Africa over here to the Americas. You know how many people, take a guess. Huh? So millions, correct. Does millions even equate, even equal up with six million? I, 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 I know, I know, I'm just making a point. I'm just making a point. Would you, uh, would you, the, uh, the total amount of the transatlantic slave trade, right? Does that even equal, come close to the six yeah, million, yeah. the so-called six million that died in the Holocaust? Huh? Uh, no, it's no, it don't come close. So understand what the Bible is saying. Read that uh, uh, in the part again. For under the whole heaven, under the whole earth, has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. So whatever atrocities happening to these other nations, because you broke the covenant with the Most High God, the worst atrocities happened to you. And we're going to get some of those some of those curses that he's talking about. The curses poured out upon us. We're going to get some of those curses to do what? To identify who we truly are. That's right. I bet you this. Watch this. Watch this. What's your nationality? American Indian. American, so-called American Indian. Okay. Number two, what's your nationality? I'm uh, African American. African American. So, what's your nationality? West Indian Black. West Indian Black. I'm standing before three black men. Three black men, and every single one of you got different answers. Wake Why them up! Why do you have different answers? Teach up. Why do you, give me Isaiah chapter 66, uh, 65, verse 15. Read up. Why do you have different answers? Because we are lost people. We have been destroyed. We have forgotten our God. We have forgotten our tongue. We have forgotten our heritage. We didn't just forget it. It was stripped and taken from us by violence. Bring it out. Okay, go ahead. Isaiah 65 and verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. We just talked about them curses. Now you black man that said he's an African American, now you black man that said he's a West Indian, you should leave your name for a curse. This is part of the curses. When they put them yokes of iron upon your neck and they beat you until you conform to their ways. Right. You ever see the movie Roots? You did, right? With Kunta. What'd they do to Kunta? What did, talk to me, what did they do to Kunta? They, they beat him. They beat him, right? They beat him, they tied him up and they beat him. They kept beating him until he conformed into their name. Your name is Toby. Your name is Toby. But he kept saying Kunta until finally he was broken. Finally he was destroyed. That's the same thing with you, black man. That's why I can ask these three black men what's their nationality and I can get three different answers. Okay, African American. I'm with you, man. I'm with you with that as far as black people. Yes, sir. Uh, it's only one Somebody category, gave you right? Not, I'm not sure exactly how deep that goes, but I do think that it got confused back. I think Jesse Jackson was the one who changed that. Je Jesse Jackson came up with yeah, Jesse African. Jackson came with up with African American since 1985. Right. I'm my own nationality. How is that possible? Yeah. How is that possible? What I'm trying to show you is that you are the true Israelites. What I got you holding? Read it again. Isaiah 65 and verse 15. Uh -huh. And ye shall leave your name for a curse uh -huh. unto my chosen. Uh -huh. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. You see that, Kirk? You see that, Kirk? Kirk, Kirk, what I just say? What I just say, man? You got too much going on. You don't even know what they're talking about. We're talking about the greatest thing that's going to save your life. And you over here in the midst of that conversation, you have no idea what they're talking about. Your, your attention span is, 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 is phenomenal to me. It's, come on now, brother. You went to school? You ain't do that to the teachers, did you? Did a little bit. You did a little bit? Well, I don't need you to do that to me. Deal with it. I'm trying to show you your history according to the Bible. Go ahead and give me your Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. 
Read Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. I'm going to show you why we are in the kitchen conditions that we in. Watch this. What's your name? No, Jay Sean. Jay how you doing? I'm not Sean. How you doing? Hey, what's your nationality, Jay Sean? Jay Sean. Black. You see that? Now, this is the fourth brother that came up. Another man. And what? He had a different answer than every single one of y'all. He said black. That's the color of our pants, my boots. There's no such thing as a land of black. And I know it's not your fault. This is just what we've been taught. This is what we've been stripped in, in, through violence to believe. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to bring y'all back to y'all true nationality. Why? Because like we already discussed, like in the movie, you got to equate it to the movie Roots. Where they stripped uh, Kunta Kent that they stripped his name from. The same thing they did to us. They stripped our heritage and our names and our God and our tongue from us. Right. By murder, by they whip you with the leash until you conform to their ways. Right. Now you're about to celebrate 4th of July. You know you are. Don't lie to me. You're about to sell you about to pop them fireworks. Ha ah, you about to pop them fireworks? Alright, but you about to pop the fireworks? What about the barbecue? You the yeah, you going to the barbecue? I like to eat. Yeah, hey, 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 you can eat it whenever. Why you gotta say Independence Day was in 1776? Where was your people at? Don't worry about it. I'll let the picture show you. Where was your people at in 1776? Yeah. Right here in Chains and Shackles. Thank you, thank you, sir. Right here in Chains and Shackles, bonded, bound, and constraint, and misery, in Egypt, because that's what Egypt means. Misery, constraint, okay? That's where your people were at. Wake him up. Go ahead, what I got you over? Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes. So the Most High God told Moses to tell the children of Israel, which you are, if you do not hearken unto my law, statutes, and commandments, I'm going to do what to you? Read on. And to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what we're going to do, because the curses are going to come upon you, and they're going to overtake you, and they're going to do what? Give me verse 46 real quick. Verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. The curses are going to be upon you for a sign and for a wonder. What does a sign do, Jay Sean? A sign. What does it do for you? It tells you, okay, I can deal with that. It tells you what to do. What you got for me? I, I think it's like a revelation. What's up hey, I, how do I know that that's McDonald's? Because of the sign. So it's going to identify something for you. It's going to mark something. That's the same way these curses are going to work. So we're going to go through these curses. Because I asked you who you were. I asked you what your nationality was. You told me black. Another bro brother told me West Indian. You told me African American. Okay, another bro brother told me Native American. Four black men stood up before me and gave me four different nationalities. How? Why? Because you fall under the curses. Read on verse 16. Wake them up! 40, 46. No, verse 16. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Curse shall that be in this city. The Bible says curse should the Israelites be in the city. In Newport News, Virginia, aren't we a cursed people? Don't we have murders and, and drug dealing and all of these things in our communities? Right. So we are a cursed people. Read on. And curse shall that be in the field. And the Bible says curse should you be in the field. How are we cursed in the field? When we had to pick sugar cane. We had to put tobacco. Uh, we had to do all of these things. Free labor. We cursed in the field today. We're the ones that's building up the kingdom. A their kingdom. That's us. We continue to be cursed. Remember, don't forget the point. These curses are an identifying marker for our people. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation 